mention to you that I recorded my testimony about two years ago, pretty much in detail of the abuse that I went through in my childhood and how God has helped me overcome that. It's called One Life. If you haven't seen it yet, I want to encourage you to get it because actually what I'm doing this weekend is I'm sharing what's going to end up being a part two to this testimony, but it's not my testimony. It's how I got from, you know, we always talk about a testimony. And so it's like, there was the abuse and all the yucky stuff or whatever your pain was or your abandonment or your rejection. And then, you know, over here somewhere, you're hoping to have a testimony or even maybe you already do have a testimony, but there's some stuff that goes on in between that gets you from where you started to where you want to end up. So actually what I'm going to do this weekend was something that I did for my staff in a very short form and they liked it so much I was encouraged to do it at a conference and get it prepared for TV and make it a part two to this DVD. And it, it, it's basically, I'm going to share with you tonight some of the things that I've learned in my life that I feel have been the most beneficial to me, that have helped me get from where I was to where I am. Not that I don't still have a ways to go like everybody else. I won't be able to teach on all the things, but I have selected 10 things that I'm going to share with you over the next four sessions that I believe are life-changing things. You know, everything in the Bible is important, but certainly I think that there are some things that should take priority over other things. I'll just give you one example. I'm going to be sharing more about this in a future message, but let's just take, for example, the subject of, of loving people. Now, I can tell you that people aren't real interested in that. From all the years that I've been teaching, I, it's been shocking to me to find out that people just aren't really very interested in that. Because when you really begin to love people, then it requires some dying to self and some sacrifice and doing a few things you maybe don't want to do and putting up with a few things you don't really want to put up with. Maybe being nice to somebody that's not so nice to you. And 